Imagine you are on a once-in-a-lifetime adventure to see the Titanic, the most famous shipwreck in history. You board a state-of-the-art submersible that can take you to the depths of the ocean, where few people have ever been. You are excited, curious, and maybe a little nervous. But then, something goes terribly wrong. The submersible loses contact with the surface, and you are trapped in the dark, cold, and crushing pressure of the sea. What happened to the Ocean Gate Titan submersible and its passengers? How did it end up missing and presumed lost? And what does this mean for the future of deep sea exploration? In this video, we will answer all these questions and more as we investigate the mystery of the Ocean Gate submersible. The Ocean Gate Titan submersible was one of the few civilian vessels that could reach the Titanic wreck site, which rests at the depths of 3,800 meters. The deep diving vessel had a life support system that could keep five people alive for up to 96 hours in case of an emergency. For the passengers' enjoyment, the submersible had a single porthole that offered a panoramic view of the ocean's floor and the Titanic wreck. The submarine's technology was also remarkable. It had a sonar navigation system that could create 3D maps of the underwater terrain and the Titanic wreck. Titan Submersible was a unique and innovative vessel that was designed from titanium and carbon fiber and equipped with powerful LED lights, a sonar navigation system, and high-end camera equipment. It was operated by Ocean Gate Expeditions, a company that offered private tours to the Titanic wreck site. The famous Titanic was a British luxury passenger liner that sank on April 15, 1912, after colliding with an iceberg during its maiden voyage from Southampton to New York. It was one of the most famous tragedies in modern history, killing about 1,500 people and inspiring numerous stories, films, and documentaries. The wreck was discovered in 1985 by a joint French-American expedition led by Robert Ballard and Jean-Louis Michel. Since then, it has been visited by several expeditions and tourists who have explored its remains and recovered artifacts. The Ocean Gate Titan Submersible was part of an eight-day journey conducted by Ocean Gate Expeditions in June 2023. The expedition had four passengers and one pilot on board. Hamish Harding, a billionaire adventurer and record-breaking pilot. Paul Henry Nargelet, a renowned Titanic expert and former French Navy officer. Shahzada and Sulman Dawood, two members of one of Pakistan's wealthiest families, and Stockton Rush, the CEO and founder of Ocean Gate Expeditions. The passengers had paid a, a mind-blowing $250,000 each for the opportunity to see the Titanic up close. The submersible departed from St. John S. Newfoundland on June 18, 2023, and headed towards the wreck site. It was launched from a small platform that was carried out to sea by a commercial ship and submerged a few dozen meters below the surface. The submersible was controlled by a video game controller and communicated with the surface ship via text messages. The dive was expected to last about six hours. However, something went terribly wrong during the descent. The submersible lost contact with the surface at around 10.30 a.m. local time on June 19th, when it was about halfway to the wreck site. The surface ship tried to re-establish communication with the submersible, but received no response. A search and rescue operation was launched immediately by the Canadian Coast Guard and other agencies. The search area was big. It covered about 200 square kilometers or 77 square miles of ocean floor. Several vessels and aircraft were involved in the search effort, including a Canadian military surveillance plane with underwater sonar capabilities a French robot that could dive to 6,000 meters, 19,680 feet, and a U.S. Navy submarine rescue ship with specialized equipment. The search teams also used devices called sonobuoys, which could be tossed out of airplanes to detect underwater noises. A few days after the submersible went missing, a Canadian surveillance plane detected underwater noises in the search area. The noises were described as banging noises that occurred at 30-minute intervals. The search teams hoped that these noises were coming from inside the submersible and that there were signs of life from the passengers or the pilot. However, they also had to eliminate other possible sources of noise, such as marine animals or other vessels. Unfortunately, the noises turned out to be false alarms. On June 23rd, Ocean Gate Expeditions announced that they had found debris matching the missing submersible on the ocean floor. 
they confirmed that all five people on board had sadly been lost. They expressed their deepest condolences to the families and friends of the victims and thanked everyone who participated in the search effort. The cause of the submersible's disappearance is still unknown. OceanGate Expeditions said they would cooperate with authorities to investigate what happened and recover the submersible if possible. They also said they would suspend their operations until further notice. This tragedy has raised many questions about the safety and ethics of deep-sea tourism. Some experts have criticized OceanGate Expeditions for using an experimental vessel that had not been tested enough for such a risky mission. They also pointed out that the submersible had experienced some problems in previous dives, such as cracking noises in its hull and water leaks in its porthole. Some media reports have revealed that Ross Kemp, a British actor and journalist who had planned to dive to the Titanic wreck site with Ocean Gate Expeditions for a TV show in 2022, had turned down the trip over safety concerns. Other experts have defended Ocean Gate Expeditions for their pioneering and ambitious vision of making the deep sea accessible to more people. They argued that the submersible was a remarkable feat of engineering and that it had passed rigorous safety tests and inspections. They also praised the company for their scientific and educational contributions, such as collecting data and images of the Titanic wreck site and sharing them with researchers and the public. The submersible tragedy has also sparked a debate about the preservation and protection of the Titanic wreck site. Some people have argued that the wreck site should be left alone and respected as a mass grave and a historical monument. They have expressed concern that human activities, such as tourism, salvage and exploration, could damage or destroy the wreck and its artifacts. A call for stricter regulations and enforcement to prevent unauthorized or harmful access to the wreck site has been made. Other people have argued that the wreck site should be open to exploration and discovery, as long as it is done in a responsible and respectful way. They have claimed that visiting the wreck site could provide valuable insights into the history and culture of the Titanic and its passengers. They have also suggested that tourism could help raise awareness and funds for the conservation and research of the wreck site. The Ocean Gate Titan submersible tragedy has shown us the beauty and danger of the deep sea. It has also reminded us of the enduring fascination and mystery of the Titanic. As we mourn the loss of five brave souls who dared to explore the depths of the ocean, we also wonder what secrets and stories lie beneath the waves, waiting to be revealed. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts on this topic. Do not give up. Stay curious and keep diving. In and out covered.